Temple gets a, lot, gets a lot of its production off the ground game. We all know Bernard Pierce and the Heisman campaign, but there is also Matt Brown, who has done well in relief of Pierce when he's been out with injuries. Tom Monfiletto has more on the duo named Bernie and Bug. Meet Bernard Pierce and Matt Brown, a.k.a. Bernie and the Bug. On the field, they make a great one-two punch. Off the field, they're more like the odd couple. Who's better? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we both good, man. Who looks better in a uniform? The man gotta have the bands on, the visor, <laughs> shoes tied up in a heart shape, bow. <laughs> Who will put linebacker cleats on and run out there? He doesn't care. <laughs> like me, I gotta kind of have some type of swag. Like you gotta look good. What was the competition like between you two? Was it friendly or was it nasty or what? You don't care. The competition between everybody is nasty. Like everybody trying to fight for that starting position. Is it better now? Yeah, we're going out. What can't Matt do as well as he thinks he can? <laughs> Stiff arm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the strangest thing you've seen Matt do? Yeah, I've seen Matt do a whole bunch of weird things. I, <laughs> but I think the, the weird thing I do is see Matt dancing in the shower. <laughs> and he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Who has more pregame uh, superstitions? Do. He does. What do you do? I like I chant going up and down the field. Uh, I won't talk before the game. And I won't yeah, eat anything. Don't let him see a black cat or something. Like, he'll lose his mind. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> Matt, what did you think when you saw Bernard on ESPN? And I saw him uh, on ESPN on YouTube. Like, oh, man. That was good, though. Yeah, I need that. I'm no proud of him, man. I need that. <laughs> Definitely, I need that. <laughs> Matt, if Bernard were to have a dating show, what would it be called? The Heisman Hassle. Why is that? The Hassle walking up with him on campus. Because every, oh, Bernard, 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 come here, let me take a picture with you. And he'll make you feel like a, a celebrity. <laughs> All right, Bernard, when you saw Matt uh, tear it up against Kent State, he had 156 yards, two touchdowns, and you were on the sidelines because you got hurt early in the game. What were you, what was going through your head? Rowdy, I mean, like, I, I, could, I couldn't go. So, I needed somebody to step up, and he stepped up, filled my shoes perfectly. Who's the better dancer? Hey. It's something I can do. I can play football and I can dance. And I can sing a little bit. Here you go. Here you go. He, he hit some bars, right? Hit him in the locker room. Can you Dougie? Yes, I can. Show him how to Dougie. You. Can you teach Can you teach me how to Dougie? Yeah, I can teach you how to Dougie. Can you teach the United States how to Dougie? Teach him how to Dougie. Can't teach you how to Dougie. I'm pretty sure you can. For our sports, I'm Tom Onfaletto. Thanks, Tom. For senior athletes, the, their last season is always the most important. But for the men's basketball team, the Owls will be down a senior at the beginning of the season. Number 30, Craig Williams, is recovering from foot surgery that he had in early September. Williams, a 6'9 forward for the Owls, broke his right foot over the summer. Last season, Williams ranked third on the team for three-pointers. Williams is missing the first few weeks of the season in order for his foot to fully recover. The Owls start their season on November 12th at home against Seton Hall. And Lafayette smashed Temple Field Hockey's undefeated record on September 10th. The Leopards took the Owls into double overtime in the first half. Lafayette outshot Temple 7-3, but Temple tried to turn it around in the second half, outshooting the Leopards 8-6. The first overtime went scoreless, but in the second overtime, Lafayette scored off a rebound off of a Temple defender after 88 minutes of play. Temple lost the game 2-1. to one. The weekend of September 10th was a tough one for the Temple volleyball team. The Owls traveled to Missoula, Montana for the Montana Invitational, only to come back with three losses, dropping their record to 2-7 and seven on the season. The Owls lost against North Dakota, Utah State, and in a five-set match against Montana. Temple freshman Elise Burkert was named to the Montana Invitational All-Tournament team. Well, Jillian, so you've heard about these Yukon suites for the, for the Yukon game. The Lincoln Financial Field is having suites that you can actually view the game from? Yeah, I'm actually really excited. I don't like sitting in the stands, especially when it's windy, so it would be nice to sit in somewhere that's covered, get some drinks. They even have a wet bar for the a people. A wet bar? That'll be 21. What's, what's the food that you're going to eat? I think I'm going to get some pretzels and cheese. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going for escargot. But now we go into the nest. 
The men's soccer team has a lot to improve on already after only playing three games this season. Their, cur their record currently stands as zero wins, two losses against Lafayette and Drexel, and one tie against Colgate. The Owls head to New York to take on Hofstra in hopes of to change their losing season into a winning one. And the women's soccer team has had a so-so start to their season. Last weekend, they traveled to Johnson City, Tennessee to compete in the East Tennessee State Tournament. The Owls won their first game against East Tennessee State 1-0. But their last game was not so lucky. The Owls lost to Miami, Ohio 1-2, and their record is now 3-4. Junior defensive tackle Muhammad Wilkerson is not the only MAC defensive player of the week, but he is also honored with the Owlsports.com player of the week. This is well deserved after a tremendous game against Central Michigan where Wilkerson had a career high of two sacks, six tackles, and a forced fumble. Well, that's it for this week. For all of us here at Sports Update, you I'm Sam Papard. And I'm Jillian Marshall. You can check us out weekly on TUTV, within the walls of Temple School of Communications and Theater, and always on YouTube, backslash Owl Sports.